Hello everyone and welcome back to the Steven Universe Let's Play series. Hello Jasper and look what I've got behind me. I finally finished the grinder and this is very important because I need a lot of experience and I think this grinder will be a good source of this experience. I will be able, I will be able to get some good tools but also I will be able to get some good armor and weapons and we will need that because I want to fight against a lot of different corrupted gems like Ender Dragon and Wither and for that I need some really good armor oh my gosh three zombies at the same time I need some really good armor but also I need some weapons with looting and whatnot to for example to get enough Ender Pearls for for the end portal so let me show you how it all works so basically zombies spawn in here and then they just go into the hole there is a hole in there you can't really see it from here but it's there and so they go into this one hole uh, which leads over here topaz why this is oh my gosh this is literally the nether conquest episode all over again topaz just jumping off the edge and look at that jasper didn't jump no one else jumped Carnelians didn't jump where they were literally when they were literally in the same place in uh, in uh, like a couple of episodes ago and Topaz just jumped again well hopefully she's gonna teleport to me but in any case zombies go in here and this right here is a w a water elevator so basically zombies have desire to use it I, I don't even know why but basically zombies will go up this elevator and uh, now let's go up as well because this elevator actually leads all the way to the surface and uh, i really need to decorate this whole area a little bit better as a matter of fact oh my gosh no no jasper jasper oh this is topaz actually <laughs> hello oh yeah and i completely forgot about jasper well hopefully she is going to teleport to me now as well but basically there is no entrance in here at all right now i think i'm gonna make it right here at some point so basically behind this wall there's carnelian checkpoint so i'm probably gonna make some nice fancy uh stairs or maybe I'm just gonna put a ladder in there so we can quickly get to the grinder but basically zombies go up this water elevator then they end up in here this is the top this is the top of the elevator and uh and then they keep getting pushed in here <laughs> and they go down and they take just enough damage to land in there with just half a heart so basically i can just punch them once without any weapons even and they will die and they will give me some experience so let's go there this is it this is the point where they're landing oh my gosh there's creeper on top i even made sure that everything is uh, okay in there that, that that uh that mobs can't spawn there but no creepers still spawn somehow topaz good job okay so let's go in here and let's check it out so here are all the zombies with just one or even not one heart with just half a heart and i can just start punching them actually for whatever reason one punch isn't enough and jasper has to step in and take them down but it doesn't really matter i can use an axe or a sword once i get it and so yeah i can just farm experience in here and uh, as soon as i can i'm gonna get some better weapons i think getting a really good sword hopefully with looting should be a priority and uh, yeah and then i will get a pickaxe as well because this pickaxe can use some improvements but i also think that this spawner might not work on a hundred percent just because we are inside of this giant ravine oh why did you die that's weird maybe it was a uh, some different zombie like he actually looked like a zombie villager almost i know that baby zombies die here or at least i think they do so yeah maybe it wasn't a normal zombie in any case because of all the mobs spawning here it might be that zombie spawner doesn't make as many mobs as it can i'm not sure but in any case that's a good reason for me to actually explore this ravine because 
when I was building this elevator, I realized that there's a lot of areas that I didn't explore at all. And we have explored this giant ravine in the future beta kindergarten, right? I think we explored it quite uh, thoroughly. And yet there is this ravine right under my house. And there's still a lot of things to explore here. Let's fix that. Let's go where no one has gone before and let's explore all the corners of this ravine. Maybe I will be able to find another uh, spawner, for example. That would be really nice. But just stumbling upon some diamonds will be nice as well because I need a lot of diamonds for a lot of different things. And I'm, I keep saying that, yes, I want to make... And not, not an episode, but I just want to spend a little bit of time or maybe even a lot of time just mining. Just go and strip mine and get a lot of diamonds. And I keep saying that. <laughs> what are you doing, Jasper? I keep saying that, but I never really do that. And I really should because I need a lot of diamonds, okay? <laughs> but hopefully I will stumble upon some right now. And uh, yeah, let's... Let's hope that this is what's gonna happen. Diamonds, uh, more abandoned mine shafts, spawners. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, hello zombie. And as you can see right now, I am on the emergency rations. I actually didn't really have time to visit my peridots, so I'm just eating zombie flesh in here. And <laughs> also, even if I don't find any goodies like diamonds, at, at the very least, I will put a bunch of torches around here and I will at least lower the amount of mobs that spawn in here. So if that causes any kind of trouble for the spawner, then at least that part, uh, at least that will be fixed and we will be getting more zombies in our grinder. But yeah, I'm saying this because I just realized I don't have any torches. So gonna quickly go back and get some. And also, I, I think I need to fix the grinder, because zombies aren't supposed to die there. And I, I'm not sure why a couple of them died right in front of us. That shouldn't be happening. They should all land with just half a heart. But they're not. Okay, let's grab a, a stack of torches in here. And go back. No, no, Pearl. No. <laughs> I got it, Pearl. Okay, so... Uh, let's go. Uh, well, yeah, I was here already and there is nothing here. Maybe something in here. A cave within a cave. All right, hello, skeleton. And I completely abandoned Jasper and Topaz. But once again, let's hope that they're going to teleport to us eventually and actually help us fight against all of those mobs. I think they might not be teleporting because there is just not enough room for them. Although, I mean... It wasn't stopping them before. Usually gems are very eager to teleport right where I am and get stuck somewhere so that, I, so that I have to save them. But right now they're not teleporting, which is weird. But that's okay. I can, I can explore for, for a little bit without them. Not a problem. Okay, so nothing here, really. But at the very least... There wouldn't be as many mobs spawning anymore. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's uh, that was a bit of a lag in there, but a little bit of a lag isn't going to stop me. So what are you doing here, guys? I could have used some help, you know? Okay, but that's okay. I don't blame you guys. Just follow me now, okay? And let's go in this direction. Wait, um, okay. It sort of connects to this other cave. In that case, I think we can leave now and go in another direction of this whole ravine. So, back to this waterfall. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it was so dangerous building this grinder. There was a lot of times when some zombies literally spawned out of nowhere. And I think they punched me at least once. There was a zombie and he punched me off this... Uh, off of here. I was right on top of this thing. And he punched me and I fell and this lava was all around here and I almost landed in the middle of this lava but I didn't thankfully thankfully I was able to avoid it 
And now I decided to block it to make sure that it wouldn't happen again. And as you saw in the beginning, there were still mobs spawning on, on top of this thing, which is weird. I placed a bunch of torches in there, but apparently that wasn't enough. So I might want to come back there at some point and uh, place some more torches. Yeah, maybe they are actually spawning on an even higher level, but they just uh, sort of jump down. That will make sense. Okay, creeper. Don't blow up, mate. Just, no. Okay, yes. Got you. Just like catching a Pokemon. So there is a bunch of resources, but so far, no diamonds, no mine shafts. Oh, zombie, right? <laughs> Why did you do that? Ah, you remind me of my topaz. Okay, let's keep exploring. I haven't been here ever. Like, this is a completely unexplored area of a ravine. So let's keep going. For some reason, I have a feeling that somewhere around here there's something very interesting, like a spawner. I can smell it. I mean, this seed has already been great to me. A lot of spawners, a lot of mine shafts, ravines. So even if there's nothing here, that will be totally fine. But I can, I can smell a spawner. Oh yes, it's really close. It's a skeleton spawner. Yes. <laughs> so let's try to find it. Ah, uh, stop, Topaz. Come on, come on. Uh, Jasper is just lost somewhere. Jasper is just stuck and isn't really following me, which is a shame. I want it for Topaz, Jasper and me, for all three of us to be here and to explore this ravine. Oh, Jasper! Oh my gosh, thank you. Just when I was saying that I really want for Jasper to be here, she actually joined me and uh, Topaz left. <laughs> uh, Topaz, come on. Okay, well, she will teleport to me when she wants oh my look at that zombie spawner not a skeleton spawner but it is a spawner we found it i absolutely cannot believe how good this seed is or is it a no 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 this is a zombie spawner that just so happened to have a couple of skeletons running around okay witch get out of here good job topaz so let me mark this bad boy down oh no i clicked the wrong button a zombie spawner and it's already green great all right but maybe there is another spawner somewhere around here i mean i don't know there is just this whole area is so open look at that hmm it's just an interesting cave even if there is no more spawners in here it's a very interesting cave look at look at that it's so symmetrical it can be an entrance built by someone and it's all made out of diorite. <laughs> Looking good. A secret door left by a witch. Maybe. Who knows? Okay. Anything in here? This is this might very well be another ravine. Not even just a big cave, no. Might be a small ravine instead of a big cave. Okay, um, mobs are being really, really rude to me right now, okay? This is not nice, skeleton, this is not nice. And uh, me not having proper food doesn't really help. Okay, how are you doing? Jasper, you okay? You know what, it doesn't matter. Even if Jasper poofs, it's gonna be okay. She will reform and she will teleport to me once she defeats the enemy unless this enemy is a wall and jasper is just stuck in that case welp <laughs> rest in peace jasper no i'm sure she's fine okay whoop hardcore parkour okay seriously lala come on ah all right let's just uh, jump in here and i think this is actually a way back so i'm just gonna quickly confirm that this isn't some other ravine no, this is definitely a way back. So, let's not go there. Let's keep exploring this area. Can't believe there's another spawner in here. But it's kind of far away, so... I don't really think I can connect them. And at the same time, I think there are some very strict... Jasper, no! I think there are some very specific limits on... Uh, 
or specific requirements for mobs to spawn. For example, player needs to be really close to a spawner. So even if I connect them somehow using water elevators, they just wouldn't work properly. By the way, there isn't any chests in here, huh? If there was at least one chest with, with some gems, that would have been really nice. That would have made this discovery that much better. Unfortunately, there is nothing. Okay, so Jasper was proved by a witch, which means that Jasper will eventually reform and hopefully will teleport to me. So let's just wait for that and keep exploring. I'm sort of collecting those materials, but I don't really need any gold. Although, you know what? I I think I think golden armor is pretty good. And at the very least, it also looks good. You know what? I might make myself a set, a whole set of uh, golden armor and just run around like a yellow diamond <laughs> in full yellow armor. Someone said in the comments that I am like a yellow diamond because I am wearing a helmet which made out of gold. So let's take it a step forward and also get a full set. Okay, I might do that. I don't know. Probably. Yellow diamond is pretty cool. Okay, all of those caves are connected, so I think I've been here before. Hello there, Mr. Fancy Pants. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he didn't drop his pants. That would have been cool. Okay, the cave keeps going. And so are we. Let me just quickly get rid of that. Okay. Uh, nothing here. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. We just ran out of torches. But that's okay. Can't we make some more? Nope. I don't have any wood, unfortunately. So, okay. You know what? I think I explored most of this area. And even this whole area that I just explored is just a small portion of this ravine. I'm pretty sure there is a lot more things to explore in some other directions. So let me quickly go in here. Just uh, gonna finish exploration by taking a look at this part. Okay, this is a bit weird. A lot of gravel here, but nothing of interest. Okay, and here we have nothing once again. So I have Jasper in my inventory. Let me quickly grab Topaz, make sure that no one is left behind. And let's get out of here. If I can't find a way out of here. So, yeah, actually, let's go towards this, uh, this path that I just found that leads back. I think it was sort of around here, wasn't it? Okay, and we are pretty much back. Oh, gosh. I really should have visited my peridots. I should have grabbed some normal food. The, this rotten flash is not nutritious enough. Okay. Oh no. Oh my gosh. That was close. If I if I were to fall all the way down to this obsidian, that will be a game over. Okay. So how do I get out of here now? <laughs> yeah. Let's go over here. Yeah. Oh, peridot has a lot of wheat and as you remember a few episodes ago i installed this chunk loader so while we were in a cave i think we were far enough for peridots not to work but because there is this chunk loader they were working all this time and look look at how much wheat this peridot made this is amazing let's make some food and you may have noticed that once again i didn't inject any gems you know what the next episode will be a very special episode because we will inject 20 gems in one episode. And maybe I will even try to inject some gems in some other places. For example, I want to inject at least a couple in this one place where I got a topaz. And who knows, maybe we will get another topaz as well. So let me quickly solve my food problem. <laughs> okay, good. And that's it with this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like. And I will see you in the next one.